Heaven's California. Hey guys, today I'm reacting to Mort's most recent video, True Quarantine Horror Story Animated. As I said in the last video, I'm going to start reacting to Mort more often, so if you guys want me to can continue this, then let me know in the comments below and I will continue doing so. And maybe I'll even do more videos of more today. If we'll, I don't know, we'll see how it goes. We'll see if I get bored because, like, we are in quarantine now. Might as well just react to a bunch of videos, you know. So, yeah, let's get into this video. True quarantine horror story animated. Let's go five minutes long. Playing video this games. This story literally happened to me a week ago. Mm -hmm. My name is Joseph, and I live in a country based in Europe. I'm a student studying at university and currently live with my parents. Okay. A few days ago before this outbreak took place in my country, we had been informed through the media that we shouldn't leave our houses and to minimize contact with people for the next two weeks. The government had closed down all schools and certain businesses. Same. This also included events within my own country. Same. It was a Friday evening. I was trying to kill some time by playing computer games when me and my parents heard our doorbell ring, I was confused because we weren't expecting anyone. It would be really irresponsible to visit during the outbreak. I thought to myself that it could be one of my aunts or my cousins who needed help or supplies, yeah, there, so I like, immediately went to answer the front door. I was just surprised that they didn't inform us about this visit earlier. Before I could even touch the door handle, I looked through the blinds to see who it was. It wasn't any of our relatives, but two men in dirty yellow overalls which looked like hazmat suits. I couldn't even make out their faces. They looked so creepy. My heart started to beat faster. Kind of I sus. thought that my father or mother had her symptoms, and they called the hospital for doctors or some medical professional. Maybe they didn't tell me so as to not make me so worried or panic about them. But when I checked the living room, neither of them seemed to be ill. They were surprised too. Something doesn't feel right. The doorbell rang once again. I hesitated, but I finally pulled the door open. The men introduced themselves as a disinfection team sent by the city council. They told us that every house in the area would be disinfected and we will need to leave for an hour. No. They even showed us papers that seemed legit. We had many doubts, but they convinced us. Looking back, it, it was the dumbest thing we did, but they inspired trust in us, and we were already distracted by the stress of the situation. Me and my parents looked at each other. We shrugged our shoulders and decided to take a walk. They gave us a copy of a warrant, plus we thought we were leaving our house in safe hands. Yeah, okay. After a few minutes of walking, I remembered that I forgot to turn off the oven. I said it to my parents about this and they decided to wait for me. I sprinted back to my house. As I got to the house, I heard some weird noises behind the closed door. Why did they close the door? I said to myself. Fortunately, I had an extra key and I opened the door. The view inside the house horrified me. I saw a huge mess. All of the cabinets were left open, furniture was turned over on the floor, and all of the food we gathered as supplies were thrown out. I froze from fear. Millions of thoughts were flying through my head at that moment. I oh, really assholes. knew we had become victims of a robbery. How could we have been so stupid? I thought to myself. I turned around and wanted to run out of the house and call the cops, but I stumbled upon oh, one of the robbers shit. standing oh, in front of the door holding a big knife. I can't let you leave, boy. You seem too much. He said to me in a really evil way. Oh no. Then he started to run towards me. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. I ran to the bathroom and locked the door behind me. He was screaming and pounding on the door. There's a window. If you open the door, I won't hurt you. <laughs> I promise. Yeah, I'm he said. Of course, I didn't believe him and hid inside the bathtub. He started to stab the wooden door. I was so scared I couldn't even blink. My heart was pounding so hard. And all I wanted to do was come off the oven. I was trying to escape my chest. I started to pray because I thought that was literally the last moments of my life. Tears started to stream down my face. I cried more than I had ever cried in my so entire scary. life. I'm just imagining my holy crap. When the door stopped. He was gone. No, no they're not. I heard police sirens oh. and I opened the door. 
My parents ran up to oh me and hugged me. I thought it was like I felt like the luckiest person no, alive. That, how, who, I was so who, happy. Who called the cops. They told parents. me that after a while of waiting, they eventually decided to walk back to the house. Then my father saw a robber in the door with a knife. He hid behind the trees and called the police. The police told us that they were searching for these men for two weeks. They had already robbed ten houses in the nearby cities and used the situation as a way to gain trust in people and to access their properties. The papers they found on them were also fake. I hope they will rot in prison now. Let this be a warning. I hope you guys won't fall for this kind of scam. Okay, I did not expect that when I first watched this, like, first stumb stumbled upon the video like, I saw online or whatever. I did not expect this at all. Like, who the hell does that? Like, why the hell are people taking advantage of the pa It's a pandemic. It's a world health issue. Like, why are you taking advantage of that? It's so, that's so rude. It's so, like, it's especially, like, the, like, the price gouging, the t taking all the freaking toilet paper. Like, what the hell is up with that? Leave some for someone else. Leave the hand sanitizer. Leave the fucking Lysol wipes. And stop fucking selling Lysol wipes for four times what it's worth, like a dummy. <coughs> Any, anyone that does that is just like a piece of shit. Like, you're just a piece of shit. That's, that's just how... I, I, that, that's what you are. I don't, I, don't, I don't care who you are. That's what you are. If, if you do that, that's, that's what you are. I'm glad that... I hope they're caught, because I really hope they get their shit back and stuff. Like, still st st their food, too. Yeah, that, that's not, that's not legit, like, come on, like, two people are sent to your house, like, I don't know what time it was, I don't know what, whatever, but, that's not, yeah, I'm so sure the city's just gonna send two people to every single house to disinfect the whole house, I'm so sure, every single house, I don't know about you guys, but in my city, there's probably, probably like, 550,000 people just in my city alone, so, no, no, that's not, no, that's not, that's not how it works, <laughs> I think maybe if you ask someone to come and do that, they would, but like, I'm pretty sure you could just do it yourself. Like, just use, li li like, what we do, like, we kind of like, like, select the doors and the, the stuff we use a lot, and just kind of like keep it disinfected and stuff like that, you know? So, I don't know, but that's what I, that's, that's what we do, you know? So, yeah, that's what we do. So, I mean, I don't know about you. Yeah, I feel really bad, bad, bad for them. They are stupid for falling for it, but I mean, if they had like, legal documents or seem legit, then I guess it kind of makes sense, but still, like, I wouldn't trust that. Two people, you can't even see their face, they're always covered, and I mean, that part makes sense. Like, if you're, if, if you're there to disinfect anybody, you cut, any house that you could go into, you could have the virus, so I understand that part, but uh, that's just sus. And then they had a knife, like, when he got inside, that fucking scared me. I was like, shit, man, this guy, this poor guy's gonna die now. Or might die. Like sh that's even just scary just to go like go through that shit. So I I, I feel really bad for him, but I'm glad they're all okay. Um, I I hope the cops got them. I don't think they did, but hopefully they get them soon. And yeah, I guess as he said, let this be a warning to everyone. This has never happened to us. Knock on wood. I know anyone that ha that I know. Knock on wood. But I don't know where that was either. Like in the U.S. or something. I don't know, but. I don't know. But thank you guys for watching. Like and subscribe, and let me know in the comments below what you are doing in self quarantine or self isolation. And, and, and each of you, each of you watching this video, you better be social isolating, or, yeah, no, social distancing, you better be social If you're not, stupid, you're, 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 you're stupid, like, if you're not self-isolating or self quarantine like, if you have to go to work, okay, you know, if you have to do that stuff, then okay, but don't go out freely, don't take the bus freely, don't take public tra tra transportation if you don't have to, walk, go for walks, stay away from people, keep six feet distance from everybody, and you're good, well, you're hopefully good at least. But yeah, that'll do it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. And again, let me know in the comments below if you guys want me to continue reacting to more. If not, then let me know. If yes, then let me know. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.